Hey folks, Ben from Smoking Hot Confessions here. This is super exciting. It's uh, it's just after 11 o'clock. They've just done the pork rib hand in, and I'm here with the team from Smoke Face Gorillas. We've got, uh, damn it, <laughs> Jason, Justin, Justin, damn it, Justin, Jai, and James. Fred. James. <laughs> Justin, Jai, and James from, from Smoke Face Gorillas. They've, uh, they've deliberately tricked me. They've all got the same hairstyle. They've all got a bit of facial hair, similar builds. It's just not fair. The, 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 the odds are not in my favor. So we've got a ton of stuff to talk about, fellas. Let's start with the obvious. You've got your, your brand new trailer. Yeah. yeah. Um, mate, this is a game changer. This is going to change the way the whole scene is, uh, is, is running their pits and that. How did it come about? Well, Justin and I, several years ago, have been like, geez, we'd love to get a, cater, a trailer like this, like with everything done, inbuilt. Um, we'd obviously, when we first started competing, we started with the cabinet, it was too hard to travel, then we built a pit, and um, I had my heart set on a Myron for um, a long, long time, and I uh, finally just went, nah, stuff it, I'm going to get out of my system. Um, I couldn't get any advice on what they were like here in Australia, um, so we sold the um, offset to the Blue Smoke boys, who seemed to be kicking goals on that, and um, won a few RGCs and they've continued that streak. So we, we picked up this girl, and. Um, all of a sudden we had to travel carting it around again so um, we were literally looking at trailers, different trailers, affordability, stuff like that so um, we we got heat beads on board at the same time and they um, we sold them a bit of a vision and they saw our vision for a trailer and I don't think they realised what we were thinking. Um, like like every like every mid-aged mid male you're going to go big, you got to do it properly. Um, so then um, Luke, obviously Luke who's holding the camera, he came on board, um, he got us a few other sponsorship deals and we started building this with Manhorn out of Melbourne. Very um, nice, mate. He's very a, nice. He got there. He's about 90% complete. We had to rush it off on him. He very, he was very stressed. We pushed him pretty hard. Um, it's missing a few things that will be finished next week. But um, yeah, we're we're wrapped, and it's made life a whole lot easier. So quality build. Absolutely, yeah. Now I understand that you not only have a kitchen in there, but you also have sleeping quarters. How good is that? <laughs> um, yeah, we definitely got a kitchen. We can take, obviously, you can take a look at some photos. Um, we've got a kitchen, we've got a TV, air conditioning, heating. There is a sleeping quarters which isn't quite um, ready yet. We're kind of going a bit hobo and sleeping on the floor this trip. So um, the beds didn't get finished, and the aerial for the TV didn't get finished on this trip. Um, but yeah, it's been a lot more comfortable. Obviously, driving up from Melbourne, it was about. It's about 15 hours non-stop. It took us pretty much a day and a half to get up here, but we just pulled over at a truck stop, rolled the beds out, slept, and then kept going, so it was great. That's so cool. <laughs> That's very cool. I think we're gonna start seeing a lot of these uh, hitting the circuit now that you guys are pioneering the way. Yeah, it's interesting. I know there's been a few people um, out there trying to grab some. I know um, Lucas has been pretty keen. There's a couple others. Um, it just takes us back, I guess, to when everyone rock, um, started off in 20-inch radars and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, the first offset trailer started rolling out and everyone's like, oh, I've got to have one of those. And it seems like the flavour of the month is to go gateways or something different now, away from those offsets. So um, there's still some pretty cool offsets around, like Black Irons um, sitting behind us, and they're still impressive as, as ever. But yeah, I think this for luxury and comp life, um, it's definitely a game changer. Absolutely. Now the next thing is sitting right behind us here, the Myron Mix and H2O Smoker. I think it's what, one of three in the country at the moment? Yeah, from what we understand, um, we got in first, direct, um, imported directly from the States ourselves. And I think um, Barbecues Australia, um, they, got it, they got on board and they got the deal bringing them in. Um, we caught up with the guys from Smoking Two Smoking Arabs. Um, they've just picked one up, they love it. And yeah, it was, um, we could find no advice. I reckon I was on the phone to Justin about every day like what are we going to do with bark how do we get bark at it it's going to be all wet and it was, it was full stressing but i just had to bite the bullet and get it out of my system and bring one in so and we've been pretty happy we've been pretty happy so so what makes it different from uh from say another cabinet style smoker um if you have a look at it it's obviously the flyers underneath um it's got a big water bath with an automatic water feed so the water kind of if you will open it up and get a look but the water bubbles away and it kind of steams as it cooks. Um, you're getting really nice even temperatures, but it's insulated, it doesn't really move very much. Um, you're probably putting one log, you actually got to feed logs into it. So a lot today where our fire's almost gone out because it just sits at 300 and it'll just almost sit at 300 till you've got no fire. So um, ah. you, you feed some logs in there, you got to keep the fire up um, and it just, you get the, you don't get as much waste, it's just like the, like just well, when Justin pulled out the food before, like the brisket, he trimmed it to box size and it swells up and comes out bigger again. So it's um, very, very different. And it's a stick burner as well. So 
bit of a combination. Sounds like the best of both worlds, mate. That's fascinating how that all works and how that all comes together. And it's a very good looking unit too. It looks very solidly well built. Yeah, she's heavy. She's a solid 425 kilos, <laughs> so it takes the best part of all of us to push her around. Um, Lucky you're all big lugs. <laughs> not by choice. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but, but yeah, she's um, she's very well built. Like everything about it, like the hinges, the, the door stops, the whole lot is just, um, it's just a different quality build. There's been a lot of thought put into it and, and um, you couldn't fold a single thing on the, on the thing, so. I love it, mate, I love it. Now, before I do let you get back to hand-ins, we'll do a quick round up. You're currently ranked number 11 in the country. You've got a GC and two RGCs in the ABA. You've had a, a couple of wins with uh, with KCBS as well. Most importantly, you've had the 180 perfect score brisket in the last KCBS competition, mate. What was that feeling like? Um, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the video. We, we obviously with the All Stars team. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's funny. So I'll, I should adjust the finish with what we've been most excited with this year. But the 180 was a real special, like um, real good bunch of friends. Um, we had Boomer, Butcher's Axe, and us from Smokeface Grillers got together a bit of fun for the KCBS party pretty hard, slept in late, went hot and fast and um, the only thing I can say about that brisket was the burn ends like the whole time where like usually at a barbecue comp you don't want to eat um, barbecue, no one wants to touch it, it just sits there and we smashed every single one of those. <laughs> 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 we knew it was good um, but the most exciting thing we probably had this year which is um, something absolute left ball is um, chicken's been the absolute death, it's nearly killed Justin, you have to ask him about it. He's had long and stressful nights about it, um, tears, chicken being thrown against walls, um, had all types of problems and this year we've got on a massive run of chicken it's become our best category so we've had a lot of call-ups in that and that's probably been the, the best one because it's been um it's been a long time coming especially for justin so um it's been funny mate that's great now justin mate they said that you were uh, particularly excited about something what was that about oh, the 180 <laughs> gotta be excited about that what were you referring to when we finally oh. got there the, the, if you look back in some of the call-out videos in the yeah. chicken, you see this big Viking raw come out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, um, been chasing the obviously the first place chicken for a long time. Started with the pillows, tried the Andamara Mixer Cupcake Method, turned into bouncy balls basically the first time I tried doing it. Went back to pillows, started to finally get a couple of call-ups, but then once uh, I brought the Myron in, we completely changed everything. Went back to uh, Cupcake Method, something different. And the way this works, with it just puffs it up, and it's, man, it, Joe, when we actually did a practice at home, Joe and I both bit into it, looked at each other, and just like, no words were spoken. It was ah, amazing. That's fantastic, <laughs> mate. Congratulations. Well, look, I will get out of your way because we are we are uh, getting dangerously close to preparing the next hand in box. Yep. Thank you very much for your time. No, Best of luck with it all. Thank you very much. And um, I, I look forward to uh, seeing some more of this uh, trailer getting around. No problem. Thanks very much, mate. Thank you very much, mate.